the list of great ape films is quite ample. I mean, we got Dunstan checks in. That's a good one. That's, I mean, good. that's classic. Yeah. King Kung Fu. It's a great one. Great one. I mean, martial arts plus apes. Come on, man. Congo. Shit, oh, I'll that take was a, one. That was, a, whew, that was a good one. Yeah, there's a, there's tons of great monkey films. Those are the only good ones, though, really. Yeah, that, that, most of them suck. <laughs> you know? But, I mean, whenever you bring up classic uh, ape films, you never talk about this obscure gem from the 20s. Well, 20s, 30s. apparently 30s. Uh, it was silent. That was called uh, King Kong. I mean, hardly anybody heard about that well, one. I had to look it up. Yeah, me too. So when this uh, Kong Skull Island came out, I was like, what the hell is this crap? What is it? Wow, they're really digging. Are they ripping off Planet of the Apes, which <laughs> sucks? No, Planet of the Apes the worst film. Yeah, although that Tim Burton one was great. That Tim Burton one and all of the sequels were amazing. Yeah. I mean, those TV original, show? Yeah, the original sequels to the original ones, fantastic. TV show, yeah, that cartoon. TV show, damn! <laughs> <laughs> what was that for? What was that for? Uh, damn! Uh, suffice it to say, obviously we're kidding, yeah. those monkey films suck. <laughs> they couldn't, my voice um, couldn't even stay. Yeah. <laughs> Can you keep a straight face? Uh, King Kong is, of course, regarded... Uh, as a classic, has been since it came out, continues to be a classic, effects will forever go down. Time. Yeah, it really uh, affects Masterpiece of its time. The, possibly the first huge budget film that, that was a blockbuster uh, a special effects extravaganza. Yeah. And every time it's been remade, which is like a trillion times now, oh, yeah. it's always been a, a, you know, a big momentous moment. And people wonder, is this going to be good? And often the answer is not, uh, not really, not, <laughs> kind of yeah. not. That seventies one was. That seventies one, Woo! which our which our friend Spielberg holds in in very high regard, by the way. And Woo! I kind of get that, but uh, at the same time, I don't. Because <laughs> you know? there's some stuff in there that's. Like, I'm a perfect. I'm not one to let effects drag me down, but that's it's kind of hard when your movie's built around an ape, and he's going like this. <laughs> and he's doing this. <laughs> Half the movie. Yeah, it wasn't great effects wise, but but I, I mean I could see a, a love for it otherwise. But uh, it's had a rocky uh, uh, remake um, yeah. history. Uh, a lot of people didn't like Peter Jackson's uh, version. I did. I, I loved it, uh, but I see its uh, inherent faults. You know, the irony of it is that I wanted more character when when they released the extended edition. I wanted more character uh, to be. Uh, added back into the movie and there and there wasn't any yeah. and it's weird because it's got an hour's worth of character yeah. now, the build up for that was that it took too long to get yeah into. and i don't mind the, the length because Which the characters is something that we're about we're uh, familiar with with our videos it takes oh, yeah. forever to go this into. is like the 50th take, take of this fucking thing but uh anyway yeah i didn't mind the the the, yeah. the character build up it's just that it didn't go anywhere for some of the characters. So it was like, why did we spend all this time with these guys or, or vice versa? Why didn't we spend enough time with the other guys? Whatever the case. Uh, it's had a rocky history and here's Kong Skull Island. And uh, what is our reaction? Well, let's take it piece by piece. Uh, I already heard uh, some mumblings from you. Let me let me use a cheat sheet because I'm stupid as fuck. Yeah. Uh, we could cut this. Won't. Uh, we won't because we're stupid as fuck. Um but yeah, we're gonna kind of kind of go point by point a little, and uh, talk about it. Uh, I already heard some mumblings and rumblings from you that we might differ in opinion. So I'm interested to see in what the hell's up with that. We haven't talked about the movie until right now. But anyway, mm -hmm. first off, let's start with uh, the characters, and this is an ensemble piece, and there is a wide swath of characters. And I thought, personally, I thought the movie did a fantastic job of giving us a feel for every single one of them. And, which is amazing because there's a lot more characters in this one than there is in the previous Kong incarnation with Peter Jackson. And they spent so much time on those characters and they were kind of anemic in the end with the exception of a few. Uh, like Jack and Anne were obviously built up pretty well. But uh, here you, I got a, a damn good feeling for all of them. I cared for all the characters. And uh, there was some unexpected surprises, like people that people were expendable in the movie. Like, well, what the fuck? That dude's dead. Well, that's interesting. I did not expect that. That's that's new. Uh, so it was cool in that regard uh, for me. Uh, I thought they did a fantastic job building up the characters, uh, their attributes, 
uh, how they related to each other, how they worked as a team, how they didn't work as a team, etc. I thought that shit was top notch, despite how fast paced the movie is. And it really is like quick fire to introduce all these characters, but it never felt rushed to me. It was a little offsetting at first, like, whoa, what the hell? This, this is going fast. But it actually turned out to be a good thing for the film. But anyway, what was your take on the characters? Uh, I didn't feel the same way. I thought maybe, I don't know, maybe again, maybe I just have to watch again or whatever. But I didn't really care for any of the characters other than a few. I'll say, um, I don't remember. See, I don't even remember their names. Uh, the chick was kind of important, right? Sam, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess. Sam yeah. Jack Sam Jackson yeah. was probably the, no, I wouldn't say the coolest. He was pretty cool. Like, he was he was interesting character. Uh, I actually liked John C. Riley's character a lot. Yeah, yeah. He was probably, honestly, I would say he was probably the best thing for me, for the movie, uh, character-wise. Uh, but, like, um... Loki, I didn't care for again. I don't remember their names. Um, I fake Lieutenant Dan was kind of cool. Um, like I would say that some characters are cool, but they uh, for me they're not uh, beefed out enough for me to be like, oh man, would they die? Though I will say that is a uh, that is a big plus that people will just die and you'll be like, oh shit, they're gone. Yeah, that's interesting. I think the the the, the, the reason I say. I liked it is because it felt since it is an ensemble movie and it doesn't pretend to be anything else. Uh, we're used, to, uh, or at least I was, I was used to Kong always settling on the Jack and Anne yeah, yeah. archetypes or, or, or characters or wh whichever two characters. And then here, that's thrown out the window. They're, they're not really relevant. Tom Hiddleston no. is just a character. Yeah. And Brie Larson is just a character. And uh, you know, Kong doesn't for some reason have a weird infatuation with a woman they tease at it a little bit uh, yeah but it's more the relationship he has with the islanders that translates to yeah. these other people and uh you're right you're absolutely right the characters you didn't expect to be the most interesting turn out to be the most interesting but i thought that was a plus for me it was a pl big plus sam jackson was a guy that was on the edge of his yeah he was i think he was the most interesting character yeah he was definitely the most complex uh because he was a guy that was defined by what he was in. Yeah. And ironically, because of that, he refused to let go of it. And he drags him further and further into this madness that is this island. And, and, and it's you know, actually set up pretty well, like, at the end where he knows that the his, his tour is coming to an end. And he's kind of, like, depressed and shit. Yeah. And then he thanks that guy for the mission. And, and yeah, it's, it's his is the most interesting character, I would say. It kind of had, like, a predator feeling by the end there when, when you know, he was so <laughs> damn determined to yeah. take down Kong. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I love the characters, man. I think they did. I think they did it like a Predator. In fact, is a, is a good I, reference point. I think they did what Predator did and give you a good taste of each character, so that as a whole they function. Yeah, I could see that. To, like, I think individually they're kind of not strong enough, but the way the movie is, it's kind of more like yeah, it's a, it's, a team. It's so. yeah, it's def. Yeah, I mean, ensemble piece is the best way. Yeah. It's definitely that. So don't expect to go out and be like, "Oh, that guy's." Be the like, best. "Oh, I'm gonna buy this guy's action figure." Yeah, no, know. it really is a monster movie with an ensemble fucking crew that that helps you as an in, and and they're interesting. I at least thought that. But there you go, a little different uh, yeah. point of view. The actors. Let's go to the acting in this. I thought across the board it was top notch. Uh, Sam Jackson and John C. Riley took the cake for me. John C. Riley was, was a surprise really for me. I yeah. love John C. Riley. Don't get me wrong. But I, I, from the trailers, I was like, oh, man, this guy's going to be just injected humor. Yeah, I, I actually <clears throat> thought he was the best character because he had a drive and you actually cared for the character. Yeah, he was pretty cool. And it, like, it even kind of shows that the, even the movie kind of thought that because it shows that little bit at the end with the credits where it shows him reaching yeah, that was, family. Yeah, that was a very sweet little uh, yeah. coda there. It, uh, you know, brought a little tear to my eye, I'll, I'll admit. It was nice to see him finally see his... His family. I, I'm just ruining this for anybody that didn't see the damn Yeah, movie. you saw it. Yeah, you saw it. But, uh, yeah, I, he, he was he surprised me because I thought he was just going to be a throwaway character. And as it turns out, no. And, in fact, all the uh, uh, the co comedic relief was well-timed. And, 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 it you know, it it did its job in, in the type of action movie and, you know, yeah. monster movie. Some of it didn't hit. Yeah. But across the board, I thought the acting was, was okay. top-notch. Oddly enough, Tom Hiddleston was the one that felt most out of place. 
uh, for me, but even then he was fine. You know, it, it is. It, I'll grant you that it is odd to see him not. I mean, uh, he's not the biggest character. Yeah. He's, he's not even really that relevant. He really isn't. And he the appears... female, who usually is the most relevant in the in the Kong movie, I is think not. that's maybe. Yeah, I think that may be why I don't think the characters are so good because I was expecting something like, especially after the 2005 Kong. Yeah. Um, and I got something different. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I lo- um, again personally, I love I love that uh, dynamic they had and stuff. I thought it was unique. I thought it was new. And since I like stuff like Predator, I mean, you do too, but, you know, yeah. since I like that dynamic, it's so hard to get that where everybody kind of interests you in a way enough so that as a whole, collectively, you want to see where their storylines end up. So, uh, yeah, all the actors did great to portray their characters. In my opinion, you were kind of, uh, for the most part, yeah. I'll say acting-wise, it was okay. Character-wise, I would say it was kind of iffy for me. Okay. Uh, action. I'm gonna say from wall to wall action. It started with an action piece, and then it rushed you in a good way, mind you, through these character introductions, and and it felt like the pace was always going, but not in in a in that Hollywood rushed. All right, let's get this fucking thing moving because people don't have an attention span way. It was just the nature of the film, and action just explodes on your face into your face the moment you know the moment something happens. It, it really doesn't stop happening. You know, the moment they land in Skull Island, from that point forward, you know, it's wall-to-wall action. There's hardly a, a dull moment in terms of the action. It's, you know, I mean, you can, I guess you got to say well choreographed. I mean, there are effects, but, yeah. you know, somebody choreographed those movements, and, of course, there was motion capture and shit, but uh, the action was pretty breathtaking. It was pretty awesome. I, I got to say that the fight between the Skull Crawlers and... Kong was a little bit underwhelming in comparison, to, in comparison to say the fight between Kong and the V-Rex and Peter yeah, Jackson's. I, I don't know. Maybe it's because I thought that the action in in the I mean I know people hate it now despite liking it back then, but the action in Kong the first uh, 2005 one whatever it was was so good that the stuff in this didn't seem that good to me. No, no it was. I'm not gonna say it's bad. It's not bad. It's entertaining. I thought, yeah, I thought it was great, but it, it, those fight that that fight between yeah it, it harkened back to that, and in comparison to it, the V Rex fight was better. But I think I think uh, for uh, what do they call them, skull crawlers? Yeah, I think they weren't that interesting a villain, not villain. They're not really a villain, but you know what I mean, like a foe for King Kong. Right. Um, and I personally thought the encounters of the people with against the stuff in the island. With some exceptions, weren't as exciting. As, really? Yeah. yeah. I like the spider scene. That was, scene. Awesome, that was cool. Yeah, um, I thought all that stuff was awesome. Um, there was hardly a dull moment for me in terms of that stuff. Uh, I liked all the island stuff. I liked all the action stuff. Uh, the monsters were cool. Yes, the skull crawlers. The skull crawlers serve more of a purpose, kind of like the Mutos yeah, did they're in Godzilla. Very, they're very Muto-y. Yeah, they, they, they serve. I mean, they are Mutos, I yeah. guess. <laughs> But uh, they serve a purpose, and it's really Kong's movie. And in that regard, they serve that purpose well to kind of you know make him shine, and uh, you know how he fits into the lore of the mm-hmm. island, etc. But uh, I, for one, thought the action was fantastic. Yeah, there was some uh, cool shit, yeah. Yeah, and uh, but you seemed a little underwhelmed by it. A little bit. Okay, let's go to the effects. The effects, pretty top notch. I mean, I mean. I mean, come on, yeah. man. It's, it's hard nowadays to get a big budget film. It, that... it definitely captures that, like, that uh, Vietnam movie feel. Which we'll get to Visually. in a bit. Yeah, but uh, the effects, the look of the place, uh, you know, yeah. Def- <laughs> well, we'll get to that in a bit. But, yeah, effects-wise, everything looked pretty fantastic. Pretty cool, I think yeah. we're going to agree. I like the, uh, the design for Kong. It was kind of a good mix of... Um, Sadly, the seventies Kong, and the uh, the old old school thirties yeah. Kong. It, you know, it looked like Kong. Yeah, he has Whereas more of a. Whereas you could say the thousand five one just looked like an ape. He has more of a human like gait. Yeah. yeah, and he's definitely <clears throat> larger. And they say that he's young, so he's. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. So they're setting that up for uh, King Kong versus Godzilla, which is pretty cool. Yeah, visually it was really, it was really cool effects. Yeah, they looked uh, pretty damn fantastic. Uh, some of them less than others. For example, the spider didn't look particularly real, or no, nah, but it, it looked cool it looked cool. Yeah, and the scene was cool. Uh, a little nod to Cannibal Holocaust. Yeah, there was that, and that was interesting. Uh, 
yeah, man. I mean, surprisingly, uh, they didn't shy away from some you know, gore every now and then. Yeah, which that, cool. that was, yeah. You know, but everything looked pretty good, uh, you know, and on the level, nothing stuck out as horrible or kind of jarringly different or whatever. Yeah. So effects, pretty cool, man. The score, or I guess in this case, the soundtrack, uh, was... I mean, it, it sets you in the time and place for sure, and there yeah. was a lot of hits that people love and enjoy and definitely take you into that time and now, place. When I was seeing it, I'm kind of surprised. I don't know. Again, I haven't seen critic reviews because screw that shit. I think the wolf's not doing that right now. Um, but I kind of saw, like, the feel that Suicide Squad had going from hit to hit to hit. You know what I mean? Like, they would only play a little bit of it, and then it would be over. Yeah, I was actually going to mention that. That it's, felt really odd. It's funny that you should say that. Uh, I felt that this achieved what Suicide Squad was going for a lot better than Suicide Squad did. And, I, and as we've established yeah. before in a review, we didn't hate Suicide Squad like apparently yeah, half think, the globe did. I but. think for me it was more, it, it just felt weird because it wasn't structured in the way Suicide Squad is. Where it's like, hey, this is this, this is this, this is song. Yeah. This was more like... The scene happens, it ends, and well, yeah, the, this was more integral to yeah. the feeling and the fabric of the of the film, rather than this is how we are going to define this character yeah, by this song. Wasn't... Yeah, but uh, I think it did that a lot better than than Suicide Squad it, did. To me, it felt a little bit like, oh, we got to put these songs in there, but it was cool, so who cares? Uh, all right, yeah, I can see that. Uh, okay, and then we come to visual aesthetics or the cinematography, which I think was one of the most glaring positives for me and it's that they made this thing look like the apocalypse now yeah. poster basically it's like a living... there's actually a poster that looks like yeah that's apocalypse pretty now. cool i mean it's basically what it is it's like apocalypse now with the feeling with you know colonel kurtz replaced with a uh, with a friggin' ape yeah um I mean, obviously not that dark. I mean, thematically, this is completely <laughs> different. Although that would be cool. That would be pretty rad. But, uh, uh, you know, the feeling, uh, the the visual approach, it looked like that. It looked like a 70s. They, they decided, you know. to, yeah, they decided to go straight up for that aesthetic. And it worked for the film, in, in my opinion. And it worked make, to make it feel in its time and place. Yeah. And it was a character all of its own in, in its own way because it was almost like seeing a painting coming to life at times. Uh, especially when they shot the sun and the jungle and maybe the silhouettes against it. You know, it was really cool looking at times. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> overall, you seem pretty unimpressed with this. Uh, well, I'm not going to say I'm unimpressed, but for me, there was never like... You know how, how how big a fan I am of like the Godzilla stuff, right? Right. And uh, like I love the 2014 Godzilla. Um, this one was. I never got like a spine tiggly moment or anything. It was never like, oh, that's really cool. It, like nothing really stood out too much, but it was like as a whole, I was like, yeah, that was pretty cool. You know what I mean? Like, to me at least, it was kind of like. A fun enough movie to watch, but not something that I'm gonna be like, oh, you have to see this because of this scene. Nothing really stood out to me. Weirdly, like, even though I was expecting to love it. I'm a, uh, they, maybe that's your problem. I mean, not, not that I'm saying that your opinion is wrong. I'm just saying maybe that's what it is, because I've been there with maybe with movies yeah, it's, that it's, I. It is possible. I will say that it is possible. Um, but I mean, I had to. I have. I was way more excited for uh, Godzilla, and that delivered. I just um, uh, I don't know I don't know. Personally, I went. I have to say that I loved this movie, I, and it com kind of caught me my surprise that I did. I mean, I did I expect to love it? No. Did I expect to like it? Yeah. I mean, I, it looked pretty cool. I expected to have a lot of problems with it, uh, you know, based off the trailers and stuff. But shockingly, yeah, I'll say I don't really have any complaints of the movie. It's nothing that, like I'm not gonna say don't watch this movie. It's just to me nothing seemed cool enough to be like you have to see it. I will say that it's at a the rental for me. I will say that at the beginning, uh, uh, I'll probably buy it. The dialogue at the beginning, <laughs> yeah, felt a little off for me. Yeah, it did. But once uh, uh, John Goodman's character. Uh, got the approval to go ahead on Maybe. the island. Everything kind of started clicking into place. And once well, it started cutting from place to place to place, 
I, I could get to, uh, I'm assuming you have, that's your problem with the movie? Do you have any problems, any other problems with the movie? Uh, not really, man. That, uh, no, pretty much after I, that, I, I, I was set. I would say the first, the first, like you say, the first bit with John Goodman trying to, like, talk his way through stuff felt a bit off, and I don't know, maybe, I, maybe I'm going deaf or some shit, but I could barely hear what he was saying. No, it's the theater we were in. The yeah, was it? Room. Yeah. I could, has, I could barely understand what he was saying. It was, was a like, fucked up speaker or something. Is he drunk or taking acting lessons from Jeff Bridges? But uh, yeah, like I could barely hear what he was saying. So that was a bit off and I was just trying to catch up on shit. Mind you, it's not like, it's not the smartest movie. So you can catch on to stuff pretty quickly, right? So I would say that. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to be too critical. I don't want to say this movie sucks. So I'll just leave it at that. Oh, I'll have to watch it again, I think. I think so. I mean, because I'm on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. And I'm, thought, not, I'm not saying it's bad. I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was a fun-ass time. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad. I do. I mean, I do think Godzilla is a better movie. Yeah. And that's much more deliberately paced. Uh, it's a completely different feeling yeah. movie. Uh, so in that regard, oh, they're not... we should mention the connection between them. Oh yeah, there's a post credit sequence, blah blah blah. Well, They're not even that. Happen. Monarch is a big, pretty big part of the. Of well, yeah, the, the Mutos the and you know all that bull crap. That actually was probably one of the stuff I liked the most. The whole Monarch connection. Yeah, that was cool. I was like, that's pretty rad. And then they, of course they show King Ghidra and all that shit at the end. Yeah. But they don't show them. Don't expect to show them. They show cave paintings. Yeah. But it was pretty cool. I like that. Uh, there's a lot to like. Just for me, it wasn't amazing. I'll say it was good. I'll and, give it like and, a seven. And I'm on the other end of the spectrum. I give this a, a solid nine point five. I mean, mind you, in in, in its yeah, subgenre. It's, we should mention if if we're gonna start giving like scores, which we probably won't. This is within its subgenre. Yeah, it's I not mean, like this is, you can't put this against like freaking you know can, Citizen Kane or some shit. Yeah, I mean, obviously there it's gonna flop, but you know. Yeah, man. I thought like, it's... When it comes to eight films, <laughs> it's a solid seven. Yeah, for me. I'll, I'll say this, and I'm gonna get lynched for this, but this is my favorite King Kong film. Yeah, that is. I mean, that is and I love the original, of course, and I I even love Peter Jackson's version, but this is he did. I he think freaking loved. Yeah, Peter I Jackson. loved Peter Jackson's version, despite its 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 flaws. I loved it uh because it took me back to my childhood yeah on a grander scale visually i don't know uh but uh this was a different film with that character and it and i thought it did everything expertly man and it was a great action film it was a great I, fun time i'm glad they didn't go to the class you know the original where he's like in the Empire State Building and all that shit. Yeah, I was, that was neat to see all that different take on that stuff. Yeah, we. I mean, it's only been a few years since that was, you know, uh, uh, readapted. So why why go there again? So this take uh, completely goes pshht, off to left field and and does its own thing, and it's all the better in my opinion for it. But there you go, two different points of view. He wasn't particularly too excited, although he does I like recommend it. Yeah, you go I like see it. it. And I, on the other hand, was pretty damn excited. It was It's a cool-ass movie. Um, pretty much the, the theatrical reaction, would you agree, it was pretty positive. I mean, I, I heard... Uh, yeah, everybody I, would, kinda, I would say that. Everybody um, kind of going along. I would along say, with, like, stuff where people were supposed to... I think where people were supposed to pop. Yeah. People didn't, for the most part. Like, especially the humor stuff. That didn't seem to hit. Really? Um, I mean, I heard laughs. I heard a few, but it wasn't, like... You know how sometimes you can tell in a movie where they tell a joke and then there's that pause for, like, laughter? Like, there wasn't really laughter there. Um, but it seemed positive. People seemed to like it. Which made me even go, like, am I wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I you gotta see it, see it again, man. It's awesome. It was okay. I mean... I would say 7, 7.5 out of I have, It was I think, fun. I think you have a case of the two excited's. I would say I was more excited flopped. for Godzilla, though. Yeah, I mean, but that's... I mean, that's... I don't know, man. I mean, that pretty much went... Then again, I have That to, pretty I much have went to, like an upgraded Godzilla film. I have to... You know, tons, tons of talking. I will say that... And Godzilla at the yeah, end. Yeah, that's true. This is This more, was like, let's take this somewhere completely different. That's a, that's a big thing I saw. This is becoming a rant, but who cares? That's the thing that I saw when people complain about with Godzilla. That everybody was like, oh, it's too much talking. Have you seen a Godzilla movie? That's yeah, what that's Godzilla movies are. that's all it is. Are. A bunch of... A there's, bunch... Movie, there's some where it's literally like... The whole movie is people talking, and then the last fifteen minutes he comes in and goes roar and freaking 
balls or whatever. I was about to say a bunch of Japs talk. <laughs> Yeah, but that is all it is. Yeah. I mean, a lot of them are just it was a, a bunch of people Godzilla. talking, and then and Godzilla, the, the Gareth Edwards version was fucking fantastic. Yeah. It's awesome. Those, I, again, I stand by uh, the only movie I've seen so far in theaters in 3D that was worth the 3D. Because it made you <laughs> feel like it was like you're like you're in the freaking building seeing Godzilla crash shit. Okay, so somehow is... we ended up talking about Godzilla. Yeah, anyway, the point is go watch Godzilla. Watch King Kong. Soon these two fuckers are gonna clash. So, Godzilla uh, King Kong style. Yeah, so that's gonna happen, and so pretty much better watch this movie just so you yeah, kind of get a feel it. for Kong. Tell us who's wrong in the comment. Yeah. Freaking tell us how shitty our reviews are. Oh, and stay tuned for uh, uh, Guardians. Our Guardians' craptacular review of this. That's like, I wonder if Galahad's good to be. In this yeah, movie. Galahad's in this movie too. <laughs> anyway, subscribe, like. Hit that like button. Even if you dislike it, just hit it. Just why not? Yeah. Fuck it, right? It's just one like. Yeah. <laughs> What's it gonna do? Go dislike Galahad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. See you. Yeah.